Hustle Five Ways Radio. Welcome to the new show. We right here, reporting live. Oh, yes, time sir. Got my man Damo right here. Slim, stop what you're doing. Oh, no, no, no. That was the wrong one. My bad, my bad. That was the wrong one. There we go, there we go. <laughs> I'm just getting, see, Elway the one that does this shit. Elway can't make it. You know what I'm saying? Jezel couldn't make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And then we got my man, Mr. DMV Affiliates right here. Yes, sir. You know, he's usually in the background, but you know, he did such a good time, good job and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I we had to bring him back on the front yeah, line and shit like that. We got. Some special guests over here. Do we not have special guests now, or we just we wait a little I bit? Man, should we be should we be secretive about the good man? Nah, like, you know this time we are gonna do something different. We got my man Mark Chopper in the building, man. Mark Chopper, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Yeah, man. Yes, yes, yes sir, yes sir. Bring the choppers out, you. Yeah. yeah, whole time. So, yes, sir. man, we are gonna get straight to the doc, the uh, 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 the uh, 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 discussions right here. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little tired right now. I had a. Well, how is everybody's day for one? You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm yeah. exhausted right now. I mean, I'm I'm right there with you, brother. I mean, it's a it, when you out here hustling, bro. Like when you really out here grinding, I think that's the that's the natural response. I'm yeah, tired. Yeah, facts. Nah. No I mean, question. Domo, when I be like, man, how you feeling, bro? I'm good. I'm tired though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. If you ain't tired, you ain't doing something right. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> that's a good thing, bro. Like, I like my rest real. though. You know what I'm saying? Like I like to work hard, but I like to sleep when it's time to sleep. You talking? About I like to sleep when it's time to sleep. Need a vacation, bro. We talked about this. Like you know I got like 80 hours of vacation at my job? If you don't take that, bro. PTO. You yeah, know, bullshit. I don't take off I mean, work too much either, Sorry though. to the... I don't know how to take off work, bro. I need to. And sorry to the public, but you just... Y'all just gonna have to just understand this man gonna need a few days and not promo or no nothing. Nah, I can't stop with the promo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look at this. Nah, 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 nah. The promo. Nah, bring, gonna, nah, bring the promo bread back in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bring the promo in. Bring the promo in. I ain't gonna take no break from hoods and news, but... You know what I'm saying? I'll take a break from my, my physical job. Yeah. Man, you make it when it comes to that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We ain't Salute taking no though. break. My, my break is nighttime when I get some rest. Then I wake up. It's back to hoods and news, son. Huh? Oh, man. Yeah, facts. But yeah, we're going to get straight to the discussions, man. Uh, Michael K. Williams passed away. Breaking news Rest happened yesterday. Peace, man. If y'all don't know him, he played as uh, Omar from the Y. Watch uh, out. It's Omar, y'all. It's Omar, y'all. Yeah, Omar coming. Um, yeah. Then you know he also played a lot of he played a lot of roles, man. Yeah. He, uh, you know he was in a lot of TV shows. Uh, one role I uh I hated him in was a uh, and not literally I don't hate him at all, you know. But uh, Twelve Years a Slave, mm. y'all remember him? Him and yeah, G, he him and Big he was on the him, ship. Yeah, him and Big G was on that joint. I don't Look, think man, I, I, I didn't think see that joint. Yeah, what you think? Of, what you think? Did you see that movie Twelve Years a Slave, uh, Damo? No, I ain't see that. I was gonna say because I feel like you were on, you, you, ever you wouldn't have gave that movie a time. Of day. You ever had you ever watched Roots and not literally, but they, you ever watched Roots and you had hatred for white people? Am I allowed to answer that question, bro? On this, you on this show for real? Not saying we literally hate white nah, people. I don't hate white but people, I, but but I'm saying it I made gotta you understand mad at, it. Nah, it's yeah, a, it's it made all you a, mad at white people for a little nah, while. Nah, it ain't it ain't it ain't, it ain't right. white people. It's the system. Yeah, it ain't white people. Yeah, though. but um, like. That's how Twelve Years a Slave made me feel when I went to. Nah, I'm gonna I'm check that out. Yeah, that yeah. was that great movie. acting, bro. Like that's that had Lapita in the joint. Uh, uh, Charlie from uh, uh Lapita. That's uh, model, you know what I'm talking right? about Us. Yeah, the movie Us. Yeah, and all that. Like, yeah, that was she a good won, movie. Like, that was a cool movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bro. Like it was. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to check that out. It makes you mad though. I mean, that, that's the reason why everybody was like, we don't need another slave movie because Twelve Years a Slave stamped it. I don't yeah, like them type of it. movies though, for real. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so I can't even break it down though. It yeah. was, it, was, it was so like it was worse than uh, to me. Even though Roots was kind of like a TV show in a way, it was like a, not a TV show, but it was like it was like a mini series, right? Yeah. That right there. Like was made me more emotional, emotional. But than that's roots. the that's the purpose of them making them yeah. kind of movies to put us in and to make us feel like that. Yeah. I don't Man. even watch them type of movies. I ain't never even seen a Tupac movie. I only watch movies like that. That's Tupac movie. Oh, man, man, he, he, ca he cautious of what he what he, now, you what he gotta consumed. be. You gotta yeah, be cautious facts. what you put in your body, Respect. Your spirit. Respect. All that is real to me. For, yeah, real, facts. For real. Nah, no, no questions, no questions. But nah, the Hollywood def shit. I nah, definitely uh. But you hated him in that movie. But what was your? What would you say is your favorite like Michael K. Williams movie though? Because I can't because I always saw him sporadically. He was just a slave and, trying to escape off the slave ship. And then nah, he was. I thought he was. The, I thought he was the, uh, the 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 slave that was enslaving people. That's nah, why nah, he was on the boat and he was like, I think yeah, we could kill yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. we could. Uh, we could take. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in we that could role. Take him and next thing. G you know, was Big G was the one. And he gonna speak on it. Y'all go see. Big go G see. was the one that was whipping the black people. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning of the movie, Big it was G, Big oh, G. Big G was in the movie. 
Yeah, but yeah, he yeah. was the one saying, "Yeah, we can, we can get him." So, but, but, but what, what would you say is your favorite Michael K. Williams? I can't think because that was I, a, uh, I always seen him in so many part time roles. What that movie was about Nat Turner or something? Nah, like it was Nat about Turner, a man who Turner, was actually it was Nat based Turner off a true is. story or true events of a, a, a free like a free black man, Nat Turner, free man. Yeah. who Nat got Turner kidnapped, really who got nest, ki- got con- yeah, finessed, drug, kidnapped, all that, and took it in as a slave in yeah. Virginia. Yeah. Uh, what was, was, like was it at? He was, he was, he, was, he, he moved he was around. Down, he was cool, down south. He was, in, he, man, he was, he was down cool. south, and they uh, and it took a. Man. I remember it too. They took a dude from Canada to send a report to somebody from New York. Like that's almost crazy, bro. I I can't even. I remember that shit, man. This day, but uh, yeah, and it was based off of true events. They said hundreds of free black men were like kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? Took and down yeah, it was, south. You know, and chill. You know. A lot of them was killed because they knew how to spell and all that. Like they wasn't illiterate or nothing. Yeah, yeah. But nah, I, I can't really think of a Michael K. Williams movie. I would say because I can't, I can't think because I always saw him in part time yeah. roles or like a role in a movie that I watch. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But you know, you you'll never forget him for yeah, a lot of small, just small important yeah. roles. Like it was one, some of them just small iconic mm-hmm. roles, bro. Like I know, at least speaking for myself, like uh, he was in Brooklyn's Finest with a uh, with a. Uh, Don Cheadle and uh and and Westy Snipes, you know what I'm saying? He played kind of like the hitter, you know what I'm saying? Slash like slimy dude who was really trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Like backdoor Don Cheadle in the movie and shit. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like, even though he was a slimy dude in that joint, like if you're gonna play a slimy dude, like you know what I'm saying? Like why not Michael K. Williams? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He did his he did his thing. He did he, he did his thing in that movie. That's one of my uh, favorite roles. If not Omar, shout out to the uh, to the homie uh, Diego who who uh, that was a, mentioned uh, that Omar was was the, the, the top uh, role for him. Yeah, uh, that was a very unique role for him to have. Like he was gangster, but at the same time, you know, he yeah. made that like he made that character, bro. Like to a yeah. point, I think they said they even even in the making of the show, they only had him to just be like on there for a few spots, but his character was just, like, so impactful, they had to, like, give him, like, a whole, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, he, he you know what I mean? People was writing letters yeah. about this guy, like. <laughs> facts, facts, whole time, but condolences to him, you know, Big G Rest sent peace, his condolences man. out, everybody, man, sent the whole YF crew, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I go lie on the side note before we change the topic, man, I always wanted, like, a wire movie or a wire spinoff. Mm. What kind like, of spin-off? I always thought I always thought that like Big G, like Slim, like, like Slim, Slim Charles, Charles yeah. he was going to like, oh yeah, I'm really from DC. Let's go, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take you where I'm from. I was just hustling out Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? He was, yeah. I always thought that was gonna happen. Big G. Big G, we need that. You know what I'm saying? Like you you got you got the pull. You got the yeah, plugs. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was gonna be and you then the all, talent. Yeah. And then I always thought I always I always thought I also thought there was gonna be like a movie role. Like maybe if there was a movie, it was gonna be like the spin-off when all the kids like that was in the season three and four. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. They was yeah, gonna yeah. be grown. They was gonna be grown and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you know, cause Mike uh, the dude the, the, the younger who was yeah, Michael, yeah, yeah. he he seemed to be like the next Omar because he yeah, was the hitting Omar. licks. And in season five, he was in licks. It seemed like the uh, who yeah. was the dude with, with the, the bush? shotgun too. The like dude with the bush, he was gonna be the politician or he was gonna be something like that. Yeah, and then the other one was gonna be the junkie. Yeah, and then Dookie. The other, yeah, and the other <laughs> one was gonna be the street guy for real. Yeah, naming Mike. He was gonna Mike be the next. Uh, yeah, Dookie. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, Dookie. you had the snitch though. We don't. We ain't gonna speak on him. I mean, do you count him as a snitch? I mean, he was a, he, he he was in middle school. You count him as a snitch? Tattle? Well, he's a tattle. He did snitch. The fuck? I mean, he once did. you turn six, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I feel like once you get to a certain age, man. Like, but you think like, all right, because you like, told nah, me I'm not saying like, get, he like 12, 30. I don't know how old he, he was supposed to be. I'm I tattle. think it was middle school. Well, no, nah, I already know that. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. no, but I'm saying, I'm saying that probably could have been like something that's a lifelong lesson. I ain't going to never do that again. Because you see at the yeah. last, because at the last season, bro was damn, like, damn. bro was like, he had him in the, the fake interrogation room talking about some, yeah, you told me about this home. He said, man, I don't know what you're talking about. And then remember the last seminar? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I mean, because you get just. Because he see changed his whole role. Like, nah, nah. Never got the house yeah, yeah, like, like, like nah, because you, because the whole time you said Spoiler you was going to do y'all. something. You was you said you was going to do something for me. You ain't do it. So, hey, boom, boom, boom. I don't trust the system. Fuck no, y'all. Do I sound crazy, Domo? Because you, you. I don't you, even know what y'all talking about. No, I'm talking about. Just saying. 
You don't know about the why? Yeah, I, yeah, I was rambling. Though. I ain't know the fuck. No, nah, because you know on the why my shit. Remember, though? all right, remember it was the young Randy. Yeah, that Randy was, was snitching. He 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 snitched about a homicide, right? When he was like well, homicide, yeah, Randy right? With the cornrow. Yeah, yeah. So what happened was they pulled right back up on him about the homicide again, and then next minute he switched his whole statement and said, "Nah, I ain't helping mm-hmm. y'all." You know what I'm saying? My whole thing is. I'm not saying smoked. I'm not condoning him snitching, but maybe that was like a situation where that taught him a lesson that don't snitch. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying, yeah, my. I'm first just saying I'm not saying I agree with him. I'm not saying this is my opinion. I'm just saying that's what. What you that's think? A that's why I got asked down because I mean, you, like say you did you teach, something. You teach youngins. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would you what would you tell a youngin if they saw something? That, you know what I mean? How how would you tell a youngin to deal with it nowadays? I don't know. That's that's, that's a real t- that's a real thing. I don't know. Because if they came to you and was like, Mr. Rowe, man, I, th- I seen somebody, he had a gun, pulled it out, woo, woo, woo. I don't know what might happen. Would you tell them to tell somebody? Mm, uh, I wouldn't know, just especially it depends on what environment he live in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. So I agree. His best, his best interest would be in my hands, for real, for real. But I they wouldn't would condone those. I wouldn't just tell them to go to the police. No. Especially that, that ain't really something my community really that interested in going to the police, yeah. police and just cooperating and just, yeah, fine. that ain't going to be just, yeah, let's go to the police. Yeah, everything will be okay. <laughs> it's nah, everything won't be okay. Yeah, it ended up opening a can of worms. You don't want to. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's tough. Yeah. But we, we was rambling, though. Let's get to the, let's yeah, get get to next, the next. All right. So, the whole time, though. <laughs> Woo. Um, we're going to ask the trending for doing this too sexy challenge. All right. Sexy for Mike, yeah. You ain't, you ain't heard the new future, uh, that new future. No, nah, it was a uh, Drake, and Drake, Drake though? yeah, Drake and future. Yeah, I mean, but and you know, Doug. future do the hook, man. When it when, when future hop on that hook, Slim, yeah, he transformed that. I song, ain't gonna lie, man. Rigo was y'all looking good, though. Yeah, she was. I always thought Rigo was cute, though. I ain't never like everybody be like, oh, she like a whore, she like a drunk. Like, come uh, on, nah, I ain't never think like everybody just had this perception of what a beautiful woman is, you know what I'm saying? It's just like how people be trying to diss Ari because she's not like a it's like Lennox, yeah, Ari Lennox. Oh, man, she's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous as shit. Yeah. But she has a natural gorgeous. She's not like model status. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, know, she just has a natural. She just, to me, she a 10, but it's beyond the looks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. she she looked good to me too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's just like, yeah. So it's like, I think that's I the same way I feel about Rico. I just, yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? It's like sex appeal. You get what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to House of Five Ways too, man. Hold up. Which one, which one is the House of Five Ways one? Top one to right. You want to talk more? Hustle five ways. Yeah, shut up, hustle. Yeah, 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 man. Pull up for a studio too, man. You know what I'm saying for a session. But now, cause but you, like, Rico nasty petite, and she like knows how to like do her thing. She ain't yeah. never I, in her whole career. I've always respected how you know what I mean. Like she ain't did too much, but she still like pushed boundaries. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah, the little golf shit was throwing me off, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? It, was, it be throwing me off sometimes. But she she's still pretty though. But you see her shows though. Her yeah, shows facts. is like cranking. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Oh, her shows like that. I, I love the book Rico for a show, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. she a rock star. She like yeah. little Uzi on the woman's you side. Said, you said it. Can we get a Rico Nasty Lil Uzi uh collab? Please. I like mean, labels. Like we When she doing? first came out, I literally thought she was like a female Uzi. Like that whole shit crank with Lil Uzi or like Sugar Trippy Trump. Red. Trippy yeah. Red. Oh my God. I think yeah, she probably got a track one for Trippy Red. I think she might do. You called it. Yeah, like maybe Rigo Nasty, Damo A and R, yeah, Damo A and R, A and R, Damo. There we go. I'm telling you, nah, that's <laughs> crank though. A little mixtape. Yeah, like yeah. Rigo, Uzi, Trippy Red on one song. I'm calling it Rigo. Let's do this. Make that happen. I made that happen, Rigo. Let them labels stop being skinny. <laughs> Off that bread up. What are you talking about? But one of the ones. She one of the ones. And she need that hit. She need that banger, man. You need. We need her to have that banger. Yeah. But now, uh, all right, so we're going to say, man. oh, yeah, so this is going to get more on to the to Damo side right here, man. Uh, watching the football team running back. Oh, yeah, CP Clint Ford is one of my, that's who I grew up watching, you know. Yeah, Clint Ford is like, that's yeah. who I really grew up watching. Yeah, that jersey. Sean Taylor, Santana Moss. That was the era right there. Was it? The greatest football yeah. team in, a, in the world. We went in the yeah. Super Bowl this year, too, though. I ain't going to get into that. I seen his face in the back. I, you look like you – y'all look like some good, wholesome Washington football team fans in the back, so, so <laughs> yeah. stay tuned, man. So stay tuned. So stay shit. tuned. I ain't, we can get on that later, though, but Clint Porter, he pleaded guilty to uh, his role in the health fraud scheme. You can, yeah. 
So yeah, I'm gonna read a couple a little bit. He's pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit health care fraud. He faces a maximum maximum sentence of ten years and a fine of not more than two two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. He will make restitution of not of ninety nine thousand dollars to the NFL health reimbursement account plan. He participated in a scheme to defraud the plan through false or fraudulent pretenses, representations, and promises. That's tough. Yeah, that's tough. He got money though, so he might. Yeah. Or I'm hoping he got money after this, but he probably don't face no too much time. But that's that's wicked. Let, yeah, let me ask you, you though, Damo. Like you being in the sports world, do you think from him being a professional athlete that he really was scheming people, or do you think he just was maybe the face and he ain't necessarily know? He just was, he could have easily he, just been he, like, man, y'all need to. Rock out with them. They the best health insurance ever. Man, you supposed to have a fall guy. If you got all that money, though, <laughs> yeah, he's being a fall guy, that. so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you better That's have dope. a fall guy, man. I don't sure. know. Yeah. I, I believe it, though, because I've been hearing stuff about this for the last five mm. plus years. It was mm. all the rumors and stuff. Yeah, mm. but but it's, it's still pending, so, you know, you know, you know it's still yeah, pending. So it's allegedly. Free, yeah, free that, man. Yeah, oh, no, I, don't think, I don't think he got that on bond, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. When you Usually when you plead guilty. Oh, he plead guilty. I mean, but now nah, they probably didn't give him a sentence yet. Okay. Nah, he wasn't locked up or nothing. Yeah, oh, okay. but he got he might have to do some time. When you hear that, you hear that word guilty. It's like damn. Yeah, Especially it's the you, maximum. When you black, mm -hmm. you hear the word guilty in black. You just already, I just already see the man in change. You saw how they change. remember how they did Michael man, Vick. He good friends with Daniel Snyder though, and that man's a billionaire, so he good. Yeah, you remember how they did? You know how him. dirty they did Michael Vick. They, how much he, did they give him the whole? How many years did he do? That's because he was messing with dogs and she, you know, white people and they dogs. They he wasn't directly dogs. messing with dogs. <laughs> like he was just letting the dog fights happen at his house. That's fucking with dogs, bro. He got caught dog fighting and he was ain't had no fall guy and it's a ring. Right, it was I was a whole say, ring. See, that's another situation. Tripping. I feel like he was a professional athlete. He wasn't in that jump running it like a no boss, like walking around. No, nah, baby they pit bull and shit like pictures yeah, nigga. and all of that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Facts. Yeah, take the red noses in the back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He ain't sitting there running it like no gangs. I think he was just chilling Those like, yeah, bro. Like we doing some real shit. We yeah, got some facts. nice dogs. <laughs> but anyway, mm. man. You know what I'm saying? Uh what's the next joint, brother? Uh uh whole time, man. Levi and New Bound. Those are the ugliest fucking shoes, man. I don't know nothing about Those that. Them. Them and the patch on looking uh new balances, bro. Are those Levi denim? And new is, that, balances. is that what it is? No. Denim? Yeah, the denim new balance like the ugliest shit. Levi's used new to balance. be like that back in the day. They they were cool. Don't change don't. Levi New Balance. Like, no. I, I feel like Nah, what's some other new balance? Like the, the V6 new 990s. Y'all seen them? Them joints? just came out. Them joints with the like uh, they look like something that just came out last week. They just like them, them joints like something you could just tear off and put on. It like like somebody tried to oh, build nah, a new balance. I don't know balance. about them. <laughs> new balance is like nah, the classics. I love the classic new Nah, balance. just straight classics. New balance is dope, man. Oh, yo, on a side note, man, Saturday, you know what I'm saying, uh, September the 18th, you know, I got Hangers Night Club, T.O.B., A.B.M., X.I.B., Full Bump, Noon 2L, two D.M.V. 2000s Party, man. Everybody 20 before uh, 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 11 with text, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. So everything, you if you used to rock Sabiato, Madness, uh, Hugo Balls, anything between 2000 and 2010, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Hobo. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to pull oh, up man. to that, yeah, pull up to that, though. Just on the side note, you know how to promote more. You know, promote FUBU. More Nah, did we rock FUBU? I don't think we rock FUBU. Nah, I ain't fucking no FUBU. Hobo. I mean, I mean one time niggas was rocking. I mean, one time though. niggas was rocking Kooji one time. That's it. Nah, yeah. I, ain't, yeah, I, ain't, I remember Kooji. Nah, I remember Kooji. I, I was on the DTP back in the day. Yeah, I was American Eagle. Soul World. Yeah. Oh yeah, American Eagle. Used to cut my jeans on the side. Oh, cut the jeans on the side. Oh man, nine nine twos. Oh yeah. So y'all remember that? Was y'all from that generation? Y'all used to cut little holes in your shirts. Nah, that's a generation before us. Oh, cut holes was, in your shirts. Yeah, like in middle school, it was the th it was the shit, bro. You had like your Fuck shit. You couldn't breathe. <laughs> Fuck you cut holes in your shirt. You in school with holes that. in your shirt. See, but, see he twenty. See, but he, he, he twenty nine. I'm, I'm a few years older than him. Nah, I'm telling you, I know. I ain't old. that old I remember though. That. I ain't. You ain't like, that much older than me. Especially if you were after too. Like it, mostly, it'd be football players and basketball players. They they would have a lot of their shirts. I remember that. But literally, it'd be it'd be on. Point, it'd be like a design. It'd be like that was, just, slit, 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 was that the snowman? Slit, slit. Just like how they I mean, just how was that the Jeezy era, the snowman era. That's before that. Oh, I remember the snowman. I was rocking before that. That's for oh, I probably before don't remember the snowman. Like early two thousand. But like, what's put like this? What's put like that? Just like how they say some slangs like like bait needs to go in the that needed to go 
and yeah. stay in the past. Yeah. Just like how putting motherfuckers used to wear the long, the old heads used to wear the long ass, thick ass gym socks that with was, the rubber bands. That was back in that the day. Needed, that uh, needed to stay. Like, that was back in the day when everybody was getting jersey numbers on the back of their shirts. You know, yeah, like going to the mall, getting your name and your jersey number yeah, printed facts. on your shirt, and then you might get that junk, the sleeves cut yeah, off, yeah. and a couple of little slits in your yeah, shit. Like the jersey dress. Might have some cut up jeans too. I'm like, man, you do it. You do it yeah, right, man. bro. You you be looking icy for real, for real. Yeah, you got yeah, some facts. the Reeboks with the crumpled up socks. The girl, yeah, you had some fresh abachi. He's on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't even gonna yeah, get it. Nah. Yeah, this job is crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now, uh, just to speak on this, 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 this Levi New Balance situation, I think if you're a New Balance connoisseur, like the the cats that don't mind getting the pink jumps, you've been the, waiting to the, say that word all day, connoisseur. <laughs> connoisseur, <laughs> that's the New word Balance of the day. Connoisseur. <laughs> connoisseur. I feel like if you one of them cats that like really just like you a you a sneakerhead and you a New Balance head. You'll probably fuck with these joints and probably literally put it together, uh, throw them, have a white tee, some denim jeans, and a, I'm and not a gonna jean lie. And probably be it ain't icy. gonna lie. 2000, like my era, 2007, 8, and 9, Levi's and New Balances was the shit. But we don't need, we don't need no Levi New Balances. We just had some classic New Balances, some Levi jeans. You know, what I, what I was wearing 07, 08, just like Domo said, Eric, I had the Arab, uh, the American Eagle uh, hoodie and shit, and I had the fresh DC fit. I was fly as shit back then. I ain't gonna go away with that. I was in DC style. That's not what you do. I was a fly ass nigga, bro. I swear to God, I was cracking Domo, him like shit, bro. Domo, you had to hit him with a button, bro. Hey, Stop what you doing, I'm bro. I'm cracking him. I was like, yeah. nah, Mo. Nah, <laughs> nah Mo. <laughs> Nah, Mo. Bro, you trying to say I want fly as shit, though? No. Nah, Mo. <laughs> with the fake ass, you know what I'm saying? With the fake ass forty dollar cross, man. I was doing that motherfucker. You said the forty dollar cross. Everybody had a fake cross back in the days. It was either that or national oh, chains. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Those I ain't never fake. had a national jump. I about wanted about to get one though, but the niggas was getting robbed. Road. Niggas was getting robbed from them giants. Shit, was they? They was getting robbed for, for fake two hundred dollar chains, bro. I'm like, man, man. I'm at Pac Man. I had the craziest oh, jump. Man. I remember, I remember the uh, the Flintstone. Like oh yeah, that means. Oh yeah, that crazy yeah, that jump. means also too. The two thousand party, y'all can bring y'all national chains back out too. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, Flock had a chain. That pull on crazy the back yeah, in the day. I might throw in the Averex for oh, that. Oh, might bring back the AV. Oh, yeah, back Eddie yeah. niggas gonna become an Eddie Bauer and North Faces and shit. Yeah. Oh man, it might get raw like back in the days yeah, too. Right. <laughs> like yeah, you know, you better, bullshit. Stay, you better stay dangerous. You hear me? Yeah, but now nah, we gonna get straight to the next discussion, man. Lemonhead speaks, man. He said, "Men in the DMV don't date." Mm. Ooh. I would have loved to have the homegirl Genzel speak on this from a female's perspective. Fact, can we call her? You might got her phone number. Let's <laughs> just, just call her for a quick discussion. You got you got her shit. How about yeah? Because I mean, me personally, I just know, and I mentioned this earlier. Like when I was younger, my I, my first time I went on a date, I was like sixteen. But I know I was well, quote unquote, dating before. I actually went and on a date, you know what I'm saying? Girl, girls will always come to the house. I was always going over girls' houses, or just like, yeah, well, let's, meet, let's meet at the mall and chill. Like that was yeah. the move. Like, yeah, let's meet at Springfield. Let's meet at Fordsville. Let's meet at Pentagon City. And it, just ain't no, like, ain't no woman in here. Nah, ain't nobody. Well, you, you, you got somebody's wife. But you know, what I'm saying? yeah, I just wanted to ask a general discussion. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but she ain't got to get on the camera though. You know what I'm saying? You want to speak? Like, you don't got to, you don't got to get on camera, but it just, just say it in the background. All right, out of the men in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, which one dates the least, like, or wants to go out the least? I don't know what kind of qu- what kind of question and what kind of topping what would make somebody even say that. You can't answer that question. Oh, you just nah, been with him. And Only she him. should okay. respect, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not even a question. That's just, like, nah, because they was really making this a debate. Like, they was like, that's just D.C. That was just like, that's Those D.C. Those are weirdos niggas. that don't got no lives. Like, they was like, that's a of D.C. nigga. They, they was like, V.A., we stay. The V.A. niggas was on the, the V.A. niggas was deep as shit in my comments talking about, man, shit, nigga, V.A., we take our girls out. They was, they was proud as <laughs> shit. Shout out to V.A., man. God, but it's not, it. it's not like, I don't think that's land-based, though. Yeah, like, like if you a man, you a man. It don't matter where you from. Nah. It don't matter where you. But from. I ain't gonna lie, like when men I was in the like, DMV, don't date. Then what do men in the DMV? Do? They was yeah. I think Netflix that's DC, chill, Maryland, hook and up, Virginia. Hook up and I'm smash. not gonna lie. I ain't do a lot of dates. I'm when telling I was you, young. that's why I said. That's why I even when said I was it. Young, Until I, I was 16, and the girl was like, I want to go out. 
I know we used to, I, we just go yeah. to the house and we would fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? As a young teenager, that's why we, we yeah. would hook up. You know what I'm saying? It say men in the DMV. It don't say boys, though. I don't think a lot of, like, it say I, men. I but like, I was like, I didn't really start dating that's until. What, that's where I started. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really like, because I remember. Females uh, got you actually taking you out. Most of the time, man. me and my. Me and my exes, man, we be in the house chilling. But do men think about that? Like, I mean, like, nah, because we just like think about quality. I think time. women think more about yeah going out than a man being like, I don't know. Unless so you, you know niggas, that's what you, you niggas spend want. twenty. So I told my young, I'm gonna stop curving. Woman, I'm Y'all gonna spend twenty four seven with men then all day, twenty four seven, three six five every month. That's what it's saying. Men in the DMV don't date. Like, what's a date then? What what does he count as a date? Hmm. Men in the DMV don't date. So you cooling with your, you 29, 28, 30 plus, and you just with your men all day, 24-7. Yeah, but I don't think you it's about. You surprised a lot of these yeah, youngers, it's, man. It's a lot of that. They know about bagging a chick and fucking. A lot of dudes. But really taking them out, courting them. Do these Man, it's a really lot of people about doing that. It's, that's I mean, that's it is, what men it's do. It's stand up men. I mean, we ain't just. I don't know, man. You got to learn. Point. You got two brains, the one in your head and the one in your pants. Oh, man. I ain't going to try to get too deep, though, but come on, man. It's, I ain't going to lie. If I really, really like her, I, I probably, especially back when I was young and, and broke and shit, I, I scrape up that last $40, 50 and take out somewhere. Like, you know. You Damn. Know, good old Marlowe Heights. But it's say now. What about what about now? <laughs> good old talking about some Marlowe Heights. <laughs> No, you talking about some Marlo Heights. Heights. <laughs> Back yeah. in the day. Uh, it's a great day, 40, 50. But if I really liked it, but most of the time nah, I'm, taking Mo. It, I'm taking it to the, but, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm taking it to the crib. But sometimes, I'm not going to lie. Some of the females be like, nah, take me to the crib. Like, yeah, I'm trying. But yeah. what about 2021? We talking about the past. What's, it's 2021. Y'all, y'all saying this, we used to, used to. But you got to talk about, about now. We, we older, but it's, style, it's it's a lot of men that's younger, too. Like, they're still, like, they just became grown. Uh, like, that's 21, 22, 23. It's more older men than it is younger men, most likely. Yeah. So let's talk about men. Because Lemonhead is a grown man, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. So that's a wild comment to just say. Like, I want to I wanna know, like, where did that come from? Yeah. Men in the DMV don't date. What about men that's in a relationship? They don't take their women on dates. Do we, is he mean a single woman? So it, it's con, it's probably context to it. Yeah. Facts. Facts. I mean, it's interesting. You said a to, woman brought that up, though. You said a woman. I brought literally that up. posted. Oh, the a woman brought that up, yeah, so he woman. didn't say that. Yeah, but he 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 made the statement. That's a lonely woman. Then. Yeah, he made the. She statement. didn't get no action or something. <laughs> he made the statement. She uh, probably one of them only fans, woman. And then it, it, it became a controversial, you know, or, topic. Or whoever, all the all the men that she came across just didn't. She probably you know need saying? to check her image in the mirror. She probably didn't attracting know. the men that don't want to take her out. They just trying to bone. Yeah, yeah. yeah facts. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a, it's so it's, sense. And ladies, just make sure that you let that man know. Any man that you interested in, let him know what you what you really want, what you expect, mm-hmm. what you you know what I'm saying, what you expect his intentions to be. And if he don't move accordingly, you got to move accordingly. Right. Nah, I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Because Dom will make a valid point. Mm. Man, Man. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's facts, wild. Nah. nah, facts. Yeah, before we get before we go ahead, we get to our special guest right here, man. The bit of the week is to Adam Mazzari and motherfucking Instagram. Like, I, I'm really in my feelings. Whole like, time. Whole time. <laughs> Hold on, where's the bit of the week? Bit of the week. Like, nigga, fuck you. No. Nah, Take that back because I'm not trying to get my third place. Yeah, yeah, I really am not happy with Instagram and, and Facebook with these uh these false allegations that I'm breaking community guidelines. I've gotten flagged for shoes and wasn't able to appeal it. Mm. I've gotten flagged for posting promo prices, which it does not go against the community guidelines. I've read it multiple times. Mm. It's not a part of illegal sales like selling marijuana or anything, but I've been flagged like I'm selling marijuana. You know what I'm saying? I have a 1099. I'm an independent contractor. You know what I'm saying? And I have a, you know, W-2-2, so I work, I do both. You know what I'm saying? Man, leave this but man alone. I, I was recently flagged. So it was a video on my second page. I was recently flagged down and reported and deleted because uh, some called trademark infringement. Um, that usually happens when you post copyrighted music and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't post copyright music. And if I do, it's like a 15-second clip, which is the legal limit. Like, it's usually like 29 seconds. So, the whole time, I posted somebody washing chicken with soap. I don't know if y'all remember that video. I posted yeah. that like almost a month ago. No. I forgot about that video. Man, because the, the deletes been so much, bro. Every like, time I check, you be gone, man. Like, 
But every time I check, so gone. many pages, so many models has gotten deleted, so many comedians, so many people for minor things that are taken it out of context because of a, a computer system. Uh, granted, I didn't even tell you what's been going on with my main page. My main page has gotten deleted over 25 times within a month. Right, and appeal back. And then now I'm trying to appeal it because I changed my name and my picture. You know what I'm saying? I can't even like, because I can't even send my paperwork and let them know that, hey, this is a mistake. They're not even reading it. They're saying this is ineligible paperwork. So I'm dead with two pages that might be deleted permanently because you have 30 yeah. days to do this. So y'all think it's sweet being hoods and dudes. Y'all yeah, think, That shit's yeah. crazy. Y'all messing with my income and my bread, man. What y'all doing, bro? And y'all messing with my business, my livelihood, man. You know what I'm saying? So Facebook and Instagram, like Adam Mazzari, whatever your name is, like, bro, like, yo, you you have to have a better system. You know what I'm saying? Because that that's going to, y'all going to be the, Instagram's going to be the next MySpace, bro. If this shit don't keep up. Like, it's going to fade away. It's going to fade away, bro. They community, I'm telling you, most likely, two, three years, nobody gonna be fucking with Instagram, bro. That's why they're gonna be a whole new app. That's why most people diversify. That's why you got. I say the same thing. I say TikTok gonna blow up. You gotta yeah. jump, jump over here, TikTok jump over up. there. Starts. We all, we gonna talk about this more off camera. But yeah, like, you already know, bro. It needs yeah, to be, my download, need to have more merch, download, download. download if y'all want to support a black, pl- uh, a black owned uh, app, man, fan base app, man. And you can get paid from it, too. You know make what I'm sure saying? With subscribe. The, make sure you follow DMV Hoods Yeah, and DMV Hoods and News, bro. Follow my new page, DMV Hoods and News Media, man. I'm pulling up in New York this Thursday. I ain't playing with you, man. I'm dead serious. But, yeah, we're going to get straight to our next guest right after this, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mark Chopper, man. He's going to be in the building, man. It's your boy Hoods and News. your boy DMV Hoods and News. And we right back right here. Who we got right here in the building, man? Mark Chopper, ex-celebrity bodyguard, family man. Yeah. Firearms advocate. Mm-hmm. I'm in here, man. Thanks for having Sir. me. Nah, definitely, definitely, you know, all the time, man. But now, um, so we want, we want, we want to get a little bit about your life, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell me where you are coming from. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Tell us a little bit about your life. You know what I'm saying? Growing up and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I grew up with five brothers, single mom. Um, we from the northeast area, PG County. We got the best of both worlds, man. The yes, city sir. and PG County. Um. Yeah. Growing up, my mother ain't let us play with guns like most most of us here. You know what I mean? And uh, I guess that's what I'm doing now, normalizing our, our people being educated mm-hmm. on firearms, man, and our gun rights and being protected so we yeah. can protect our brothers, protect our sisters, protect ourselves. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's that's the mission right now. Yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah sure. man. What uh, actually uh, made you want to start this movement right here? Like, what made you? Oh, man, that's a long story. All right, so... As y'all know, I you know I've been a bodyguard, so I started off, you know, as most youngers in the street. I started off uh, being more so like a henchman for real, you know. Uh, I was protecting uh, different different dudes on the street, doing collections, and I started uh, to want to legitimize, legitify what I was doing. So I started um, working in clubs, bouncing in the clubs. Started bringing my own team in the clubs. Then I got started getting more clubs, all in D.C. Started getting a few clubs. I got teams in different clubs. Mm-hmm. And um, then that's when the pop-up shop era hit. Boom. And that was just like the breadwinner for me. You know, I, I was hitting them hard. So I was taking, taking over all those spots. And I had guys at, at clubs, pop-up shops. And, um... Things was going well, but as a as a young black man, I didn't realize the severity of me getting my proper licensing, you know, getting registered firearms. I was just on my wild, wild west shit. I seen a money and a mission, mm-hmm. and I was, you know, I was young and hungry. I had a, I had family to feed, and, uh, you know, things, things started happening. Right. You know, I started getting involved in cer- certain situations, that could have jeopardized my life and je- jeopardized everything, mm-hmm. and which I did, which which most of you know, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was in a, a particular situation where I was involved in justify justify homicide, where there was four four um gunmen pulled up on me. I wasn't even working at the time. It was actually my wife's birthday. We was having a, a nice seafood dinner, wasn't we, wife? <laughs> We was having a seafood dinner. So I said, you know, I'm going to go check on my people, check on my guys, because I had them at different spots. And this is uh, 
one of the spots was the pop-up shop I was referring to. And so I went to go check up on him. Check up on my guy. I go in the corner. I'm great to leave. I'm great to go back home to my family. Black truck pulled up, ski masks, guns. And, you know, the, the gun was pointed at me. Right. So I did what I had to do. I fired shots at him. And uh, the young the young brother ended up dying. Mm. So after that situation, you know, it, it's like the whole system crashed down on me. Because mm-hmm. none of my ducks was in a row. Firearm wasn't registered. Allegedly. And uh, so I actually had to go through things I shouldn't have went through mm. as a as a young man defending himself. Right. Like court calls, lawyer fees. You know, of course I'm still here. Yes, I'm blessed to be here. Definitely. But if I had yeah. everything in order, if I wasn't brainwashed, if 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 I didn't have the mindset Running around with with a with a with a, a gun off the street, then life would have been a lot easier for me. Mm-hmm. You know, thirty thousand dollars worth of lawyer fees. Right. You know, everything the business, everything I built since I was seventeen years old. I built that business from the ground up. Mm. <sighs> so I went through all the all that uh, situations and. Uh, and I, I I came out I came out okay, mm-hmm. you know after everything that I went through, you know of course I you know emotionally and mentally I wasn't really really where I should have been, mm-hmm. but after that situation after some time to everything I've been through, I felt like I needed to put it in the air like we don't have to we don't have to live like that. Mm-hmm. We don't have to move like that. Our people are, have just the right to get armed as anybody else. Mm-hmm. And that's been an issue in our community, man. It's, yeah. it's, it's been a serious issue in our community with the with the mindset of a young black man. Mm-hmm. Not even knowingly, not even being educated on the fact that we can, we can get legally armed. Mm-hmm. And it's never been cool. I remember laughing at my man because he... He got his. He got when to go get his uh, firearm registered. I was like, "You got a registered gun," you know. <laughs> I was about eighteen years old. He was about twenty one, twenty two. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> but we try and make that shit cool, man. And we just trying to educate the youth, trying to educate and elevate, man. That's where ask, I am right now. Let me ask you something, cause that's What's up? that's that's big for real. So looking at like how our city's going right now. You look at how they, how, you know, Chicago and yeah. how our kids, because it's crazy you just brought. So I, I teach seventh and eighth grade science in the school system, so I had these young men in my school. They were saying uh, they didn't brought the GDs in the door, the BDs in the door. Yeah. So I kind of took a little offense to that, so I pulled them out in the hallway, had a big talk with them. But they don't see the significance in the real life. They don't see, they don't really see the, the people who really, Gotta be that for a reason, yeah, bro. but they all they see is guns, guns, guns. They doing yeah. this, throwing little gang signs. They don't understand the responsibility. They don't understand, and they don't understand the power behind that weapon. They don't. You know, they, they don't. They don't understand death. They don't understand life, and they don't understand love. And they don't gotta be that way. These yeah. a lot of these kids, they don't have to be. There's a lot of kids that have reasons, but it's, it's crazy. It's like, so what's your opinion on like? The 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 way, cause I, I really feel like like in the in the Caucasians and Asians, they teach their kids how to about Bro, the importance of guns from a young age. But the our kids goal, look at it as the toys. The primary goal was uh, uh, of white supremacists is to was and always have been to unarm the black man. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's I why gun laws came in effect. Yeah, that's why gun laws came in effect. Yeah. They affect us for the for the most part. Mm-hmm. We are in poverty. Let's not ever get it twisted. They they put these different fees and these different laws and specifications. Let's not talk about D.C. where it's though they don't even have to have a reason, a legitimate reason. To run up in your house. No? To not even to run up in your house, but to deny you of a firearm. You know, just because they, they their opinion mm-hmm. of you, your social media, mm-hmm. or you might got a, you know, a charge. Like in my case, you know, I was going back and forth with D.C., 
back and forth with this particular situation because they say I had a history of violence, mm -hmm. you know, because I defended myself, you know. So the gun laws are, are racist, mm -hmm. you know, point blank period. And uh, the, the system was built by white supremacists, so we can't expect anything else less. Definitely. You know, and, and of course we Definitely. need to take accountability of, of educating our own, mm -hmm. you know, of, of these of of these situations. Because if we don't, now we see what we got. We got the rappers and the social yeah. media educating and our, our black kids. black leaders, man, they, are, they, they they don't care, man. Oh, man, you that's a whole. They don't care. The youngest, yeah. you yeah. know, so that's that's where I come into play. I, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm going I'm going my journey the right way. That's I'm solid, really man. preaching a message to to arm ourselves, our community, yeah, to arm ourselves, to train together as a unit. That's why I got Chopper Day coming up this Saturday, September 11th. Yeah. Come out, man. Get, get educated. You know, get educated on firearm awareness, firearm uh, safety, and get trained, man. Train with your people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, have a good time. Yeah. September 11th, this Saturday, my birthday. We do this every year. That's solid, man, right That's there. Solid right there. Uh, I have a couple questions, man. Yeah, what's up? Uh, the first question, um, First question is, how would you feel, all right, because, you know, me, I'm a legal gun owner myself, right? Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I have a question, okay? So a lot of people, you know, when I tell dudes who be in the streets but don't have no charges, they be like, bro, you got an opportunity to get your shit registered. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get it registered. At least register. Don't, yeah. you know, at least that. So, yeah. you know, you could just be like, I took it out of the trunk or something like, yeah, yeah. Something like that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. They be like, man, if I got a registered gun, they're going to trace it back to me. You know what I'm saying? What would you be responsive? Like street dudes, you know, that be like, man, I can't get no, because I don't want no traces or, you know, this, that, and the third or whatever, whatever. Yeah. I mean, well, you don't want to be in a situation where you have to defend yourself and you know and you end up in a, in a position where, you know, you, yeah. which could have been avoided. You know, you you you're gonna be you're gonna be locked up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was facts. locked up, and to think by the glory of God, I, I beat my charges for yeah. for a greater good. Yeah. You know, and but, I uh, and I always mention this like everybody that's in the streets or the, anybody that lives in a in a in a crazy good environment. I know a lot of people that got locked up for guns, not because they were killers and they wanted to kill people. It's just that at that time the the gun laws were so strict in D.C. Yeah, bro. But you but like think about it, you in the middle of a uh, Anacostia or. No fees, or you know what I'm saying. I'm well you in the you yeah, in the man. worst hoods in Southeast, no fees. Walk outside whatever. that door. You, you walk outside that door. Yourself. You have to protect yourself. So Absolutely. what I'm gonna do? Be a civilian and get shot? Yeah. Why these dudes out here carrying and, these crazy guns? When we say Tupac, that's probably I love quoting Pac, Malcolm X, guys like that. But he said the same people that these uh, higher ups hide from and make these laws for are the same people that live above us. So what makes you think we don't have to protect ourselves or we not scared? Absolutely. So it's like, that's 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 crazy. It's, it's deep. Yeah, for real. Yeah, facts. Man, facts. Definitely facts. Um, and the second question is, okay, so you know when I had made my post about you, you know, because you was very critical about the uh, six-year-old that got killed. Oh, yeah, okay, for right? sure. You was yeah, very yeah, vocal. Home. You were very home. vocal. You were very vocal about that, right? Definitely. And a lot of people that was in my comments talking about some how he could be out here talking about uh, guns and third when he got guns in this video. What is your response yeah. to that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, my guns are clearly protecting my family. I have little girls, so ain't nobody coming up on up to my house to shoot my baby girl. So, of course, and when I was, I was very vocal on that because as a community, we need to start standing up, man, and, and speaking up. Not necessarily speaking up to, to the authorities, but speaking up to our own, you know, to the family, you know, if you know some, let the family get that information and let her, the the, the mother decide, the the father decide what to do with that information. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We just got to become, you know, we can't be afraid of our, our babies. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's sure. what it's come down to. These be are our babies, our babies that yeah. we're running around rampant. You know what I mean? And allowing it. Yeah, and we're allowing it. So mm -hmm. we got to just stand up as men, you know? And, and we got to we, we gotta do better as the as a... Uh, older yeah. generation, we definitely got to do better. Yeah. So, and, and you know, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm definitely not sitting up here in perfect. I'm, uh, you know, I have a, a a past. You know, as I said before, you know what I mean. So I know how it is when you get, you know, in that in that, in, in the streets, and you, you know, and you, mm -hmm. and you really don't have anybody that's that's educating educating you or or, or showing you a better way. You know, a lot of time. We we have no choices, but that's that's our that's when it comes to our mental, you know, our mind mm -hmm. frame. 
there's there's always a choice. Yeah. There's always a choice, and that, I think that needs to be, you know, really explained to our youth, our younger younger generation. You always got yeah. a choice. Yeah, facts for sure. That's big facts. That's shh, man. That's so deep, Slim. Because our youngers need to hear more men speak on this. But a lot, it's 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 tough too at the same time. Because a lot of youngers, it's not like even when I was little, it was you don't have too many older guys literally just going out of their time reaching out. Just a lot of older guys, they scared of these youngers for real, for real. Like mm-hmm. facts. They they literally scale maybe scared is the wrong word but they like man I come up on a young in the wrong way he might put some do nah, something for you nah, yeah they afraid the right word. they are afraid they afraid you know? so it's like a catch twenty two for real yeah. for real yeah for sure definitely yeah, a catch twenty two yeah facts no no questions no questions bro I had another question but I had to, it got in my head <laughs> yeah out my head quit man my head, but um you know um what is um are right, so Cause you know, w- 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 how you feel about like all this violence going on in the city with these like you know, like the you know, just kind of a spinoff of what I was talking about with the six year old girl. You see yeah. like a lot of people, a lot of innocent people getting killed. That's yeah. every Chicago with six year old girls yeah. got hit. Yeah, yeah. 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 like I think every, it was like, that I think about everywhere. multiple kids got killed in Chicago. Yeah, like it was crazy. I think they say three, four kids got killed in Chicago this, this like this Labor Day weekend. So like it was crazy, um, you know what I'm saying? But like even like the situation with the eight year old got killed out land over yeah, uh, man, recently, a two year old got shot, yeah, but yeah, unfortunately uh, crazy, survived yeah. in Southeast. It's down third. Like, 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 what is the mentality? Because I like not saying it never happened in our generation when a kid accidentally gets killed or yeah. something like that due to like stuff that goes on the street or an innocent person gets killed because yeah. of the situation in the street. But that wasn't something that was praised. Like, I mean, it's still no. not praised to this day. But I'm it's saying it wasn't. It w- it's like it's it's coming too c- common. And what what would you say is that? Was it like the lack of like like education, under, un, un, yeah. education of firearms or how to use them? Also like a mixture of like like access you know, to knowledge. Yeah, the concept but that you see a whole people outside not knowing like who's outside and what's going on just because you see a group and you see a couple of your ops. You know what I'm saying honestly, I, I, you know say. I, I'm gonna say this, but and it's the truth, man. It come from a lack of training. You know, yeah. uh, that's what it boils down to. You know, our, like I said, our community, uh, we are not handy with firearms. Yeah. You know, and we, ha- we haven't been. We're getting there. And as you guys can see, there, you're mm. starting to see more and more African-Americans with firearms. Yeah. With firearm videos, safety videos, and, yeah. and training videos. Mm-hmm. You know, it's starting to see it more. But when I first started showing my guns, it was like, wow, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't believe you're showing your guns because that's the mindset of our people. You know, yeah. I'm not doing anything. They saying, oh, this hot. Yeah, yeah they hot. be on Instagram like, you know, this hot. hot. Yeah. How is this hot? This is my but, legal gun. Like. Well, for six months, um, so I started doing videos because I, like, went into, like, a, a deep depression. You know what I mean? Like, mental illness is real, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. It was some, sometimes I fucking got in the shower. I still had my fucking boxes on. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was going through, like, real trauma. Yeah. Like, and um, so I started making the skits. You know what I mean? I started... Started like like a release, getting, getting my life back. I was able yeah. to, you know, use my creativity as a as an outlet. You know, me and Mrs. Chopper, mm-hmm. you know, we started um, forming our bond and really, you know, like putting messages out there. And a lot of my skits there are messages. You know what I mean? There's deep messages in my skits, mm-hmm. and uh, one of the main messages is, hey, you know, you can get your you can get your legal firearms. You know what I mean? You could be from our era, our culture, and get your legal firearms because there was yeah. time where I didn't think I can get them at all. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. As soon as eighteen here, I was boom. Got assaulting officers. You know what I mean? I got multiple charges. Yeah, as the chopper to tell you, you know, I was in and out of jail. It was just the fact that we need to know our laws. We need to know what disqualifies you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? From getting a firearm, a lot of people ask me all the questions. Hey, I got a you know misdemeanor, and you know, can I get a firearm? And I tell them, absolutely, you know, you, you won't know until you try. You know, you you got to check your laws. So um, so the message is always the same, you know. Try to get legitimate, you know, uh, uh, try to get your legal firearms and, and and protect your protect your own. So let me because ask. Because we got we got targets on our back because of the color of our skin. Pretty. Definitely. That melanin. Yeah. But let me ask you, though, not to spin it off, but I love when, when you shot black men. And they holding up they black women. So how important was, and you even call her Mrs. Chopper, that's solid. 
So how important was your lady in terms of your development to each other, but definitely in your growth? Because I really feel like as a man, once you find that woman that can help you, that really cares for you, and it locks a different part of you. It, it helps a different part of you, and vice versa. So how important was your, your black woman in terms of your growth spiritually, physically, mentally, and vice versa? I mean, it was most important. You know what I mean? It, w- without her, uh, I would still be broken. You know, mm-hmm. a, a woman is is the 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 back backbone of a of a man. You know what I mean? Facts. It, there was a saying, you know, every every great man has a great woman mm-hmm. behind her, behind him, and it's absolutely true because of the fact if I was if I was in there alone dealing with everything I was dealing with, because I was in multiple situations, not just the one you hear about in the Washington Post, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? It was, you got to understand, I've been protecting rappers. I was, I was, you know, doing collections. I was doing a lot of things where as though it started to get traumatizing. Yeah. You know, starting to see bloodshed and starting to, starting to see death, mm-hmm. you know, a lot. You know what I mean? And um, and it was, it was starting to take a toll on me. So God and, and, and my wife, is is the light that, you know, started really solid, bringing man. me back to life. You know yeah, what I mean? That's solid right there. Yeah, definitely solid. Um, before we ain't gonna hold you, but we just wanna give you one last question right here. So yeah, you for see sure. that uh, what was his name? Antoine. Uh, what's his name? The one that just got recently killed by the police. I'm not sure. On uh, New York, I, I I don't remember his full name. I'm trying. Yeah, Antoine Gilmore, right? Um, you know they yeah, claim that hit home, home for me. Yeah. Because having a having a firearm does not give yeah, police facts. rights to kill you. Period. And, you know I, that, I mean? and that's that's what I want to get to. And then yeah. and, and and the week before that, illegal or legal, a lot yeah. of our own people say hey, it, it wasn't registered. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't Cause, matter. Because like I, I like and that, and that's what I was going to get to because it's, it felt like whether like he had a legal or illegal, it wouldn't matter. They would have shot him. It anyway. doesn't matter. It's the guy that was you know, uh, and, sleep. And, yeah, sleep. And it, and it goes to like this. Just proper training in, in our, our police department, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, because you didn't know, you didn't make no announcement. Like, y'all just didn't hesitate and just just shot that man. You know what I'm saying? And like, how would you feel? You know, regardless, that could have been me, man. I mean, I, yeah, I fall that's what I'm asleep. saying. I fall asleep behind the wheel. I pull over, you know, fall asleep, and I, I'm my pistols on me. So that situation right there hit home for me. Yeah, you know, because I'm preaching to everybody to you know to get legal. Yeah, and then here we are. You know, the, the man with his fire on him, he he's sleeping behind the wheel, get murdered. So it's like it's tough, like it's you like all, a lose lose situation. It is, because it is because the, the color of our skin. Yeah, right. and it's getting old. You know what I mean? It's getting old. Our people, we gotta start standing up. We more and more of us start to we gotta start getting armed, and we gotta start coming together. Mm-hmm. Unity is key. Mm-hmm. Definitely, man. Definitely, For sure, man. Sure, man. Um, all the time. Any uh, last words? Nah, man. That's, All right, that's, so um, I salute, I salute oh, you for uh, what you're doing. What's going? What's going on with this uh, legal and lethal thing, man? You still got them vests coming out, man. Yeah, I, I, got I definitely try vests, man. Yeah, I'm Stay dangerous, man. Be what level is those? Level three vest. Okay. They uh, see, they take everything. We did a, a ballistic test on them. You know, they took up to five, five. No, uh, we did, we did five, five, six. We did two, two, threes. We did shotgun slugs on them. Damn. I mean, we we tore that thing up, man. It was standing. You know, y'all can check out the commercial on my page. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Hey, you know, it I would have po- I would have posted it for real. <laughs> yeah. I would have I would have posted it for real. Yeah. But you know, them community guidelines. Have no, you been? No, have I, you been I, getting I strikes? Know, no, I haven't been getting strikes. I've been getting strikes for the for COVID comments. They don't strike me for my guns. I made a, made a couple of remarks about COVID. You know, I ain't I ain't taking a test on. No. And they they report it. They report me, yeah. So I'm, right now I'm shut down on, on live. They shut me down right before my big community event, Chopper Day, you know. <laughs> so yeah. I was just like, wow. So I'm going to stay away from that topic for sure. Yeah, But me, they never know. shut you down for guns. I no, they never shut me down for it's guns. It's where I always used to report me for guns. Yeah, my, that's always crazy, though. You had to blur it out, right? Yeah, I got to blur it out and yeah. all that. It, like, I, I used to always get reported for guns. And, and you like, know, I... I I don't know, man, because it's so many it's so many gun pages, so it's, that's just really hard to it's, it's biased, yeah. you know what I mean? It's but it's just like Instagram is trying to build your platform on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. It's like building a house on someone else's land, you know what I mean? They could take Damn. it away from you any other t- anytime right. they want. So you got to agree to you, DMV Hills and News. My advice to you, brother, 
All right, because you've been going through this. It's to build your own website yeah, where you way. build your own subscribers. World you know style I mean? hip hop. So nobody can thing. ever touch you. You know what I mean? Nah, Tell them that forever. Yeah, you got to get to it, man. I, I don't know get why y'all keep saying, I told y'all. Y'all need to <laughs> we do it. Hey, Is y'all going to make a donation fund? This ain't free. <laughs> yeah, like, nah, it ain't free. Like, it ain't free. Like, you definitely got to, you know. Free. Like, let's, let's put this together. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's do a GoFundMe, mm-hmm. y'all. Let's do a GoFundMe for, for the Hoods and News app. Or the Gold Hoods and News website. Yeah, you you know serious, now, it's almost Fred. like it's like they take pleasure. They take pleasure in the seeing us big yeah. for the, for our platform back. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts like this yeah. is yeah, this is insane though. But nah, like, but that's good to know, man. Uh, where they can follow you at, man? Where they can uh, yeah, you know y'all follow me on Mark Chopper, man. Mm-hmm. Mark Chopper. That's simple. I'm on I'm yes, on sir. IG right now. I'm on YouTube. Mark Chopper TV. Mm-hmm. Also, I just dropped the album. Chopper was born. That's all right. You know that we really speaking on like my life experiences. Uh, talks about you know me being you know at, at my some some part of my life where I was in the street, some part of my life where I was uh, as a as a bodyguard, and uh, it just talks about you know being militant and, and staying dangerous and being on point. So. So check it out, man. Definitely, Chopper was born, man. Definitely going to check that out, man. Definitely appreciate yeah, that. Sure. Man. I appreciate you being a guest right here. Yeah, appreciate you know y'all, man. So, appreciate yeah. y'all you having me. Think about writing a book sometime soon. Yeah, because you got a story to tell. So now yeah, I'm telling I'm you, yeah, definitely, man. Because it's like I feel like I, I got something to offer the people. You know, what movie. Mean? This, is, this is far as just just moving different, moving militant. You know, yeah. and it, it's more to it just. Just with a legal firearm, you know, it's mentally, it's spiritually, and it's emotionally, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, and it's physically. Yeah, you know, we got to yeah. be on point. We got to start taking care care of ourselves, yeah. loving ourselves, and, and and protecting our loved ones because yeah, people dying, you know, at an alarming rate. So yeah, man, that's you got support. my full support, man. And I, 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 you know, we we dying by our own brothers, man. We dying by mm-hmm. the by by the system, and and we gotta. <laughs> No, okay. we got yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta stay dangerous. So yep. when I say that shit, I mean it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. So appreciate yeah, y'all having man, me, man. Nah, man. Appreciate you, man. you, man. Giving me a voice, you know. Appreciate you, man. Anytime. Definitely, man. We we we, we, we say if you want to come back, you can come back if you want to. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Anytime that, you got man. a show or something, you want to speak on it, anything, yeah. man. Support, yeah, man. Is the, the my chopper show still going on? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's though. coming this it's Saturday. Oh yeah. yeah. Now I'm talking about not not Chopper Day. I'm talking about remember you was you was doing the little show. Like you was it was kinda like you was doing a show. I know you and Mrs. Chopper, you know, had a little thing on IGTV going on. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, yeah. all right, so we we trying to like start making our little episodes, but everything that's been going on, it's like I feel like we took a little break mm-hmm. and we wanna start, you know. Speaking on some of the issues that's been going on in the community, you know what I mean, like the babies being killed, and, and I feel like I we just ain't been in the mood for it, you know what I mean. I feel and, it's draining. Well, yeah, it's, it's definitely Society draining. But going we, on we gonna draining. bring it back up because we still want to bring awareness and we still want to continue our mission. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's where we up with it. Yeah, definitely. Sure. I definitely appreciate you being here, bro. You yeah, know thank you, man. Definitely, man. Definitely. <laughs> I got it right this time, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first time. Nah, look, y'all, you was going to nah. hit me with the nah, Mo. Nah, Mo. <laughs> 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 got it right, though. But, yeah, we going to wrap this up right here, man. It's your boy, Dan V. Hoods and News, and we are going. Well, let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Who's